There are those that just want to be left alone, and those that just won't leave them alone. Which one are you? The Ernest Hancock Show. Take it! No, no, no. You must take it! You cannot offer me this ring! I'm giving it to you! Don't! Tempt me, Frodo! I dare not take it. Not even to keep it safe. Understand, Frodo. I would use this ring from a desire to do good. But through me, it would wield a power too great and terrible to imagine. But it cannot stay in the Shire. No. No, it can't. What must I do? What must I do? It's not about who wears the ring. It's the ring. It's not who's behind the lever of power. It's the lever. We are always talking about who's in charge and never contemplate discussing that nobody should be in charge. How about the individual gets to be in charge? Well, we're talking with Les Rayburn, and he wants to share with us who's going to be in charge. You know, if we're not there, whatever's going to happen, somebody's going to be in charge. I vote, I vote uh, the individual, me, get to be in charge of them, but uh, you're advocating that something else is going to happen. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, if I had my druthers, I'd be in charge. But uh, I'm going to tell you, radical Islam is going to wind up in charge. They're going to wind up in charge of either half the country or the whole country. Well, define radical Islam. What does that mean? It's like we put a definite, we threw that out there, and I don't even know what the heck they're talking about. Well, uh, I, I use it as a politically correct term because I didn't want to make any of your uh, uh, listeners uh, angry. Uh, I, I really don't make a, <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't really, I don't make a distinction personally. Um, it, it, the, the, <clears throat> We'll define it as as um, the ones that just absolutely want to take over the whole world. The the ones that just want to uh, bomb uh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, bomb everybody. <laughs> what are we America. doing? I'm I'm like, uh, come on, and we're comparing ourselves to what? I, I this is it's. I have to be put myself yeah, in the no, minds of a 15 year old Muslim to 25 year old Muslim young man girl that's on the internet. And those are not the ones that are going to wind up in charge. Unfortunately, those are ones that are going to be victims. Those are the ones that are going to wind up being victims. Those are the ones that are going to unknowingly and unwittingly help put these guys in charge. All and the oh, more God. reason to make sure that they're educated, that the goal I is for them to be in you. charge I'm of themselves. I'm not arguing with you about that. You know what? These are the guys that are going to wind up getting screwed. And, and, and as usual, those are the ones that are going to wind up being victims. So and how do you advocate that we prevent that with what to accomplish what? How? That's the $24,000 question. I wish we had gone in, and if we're going to go into a country, I wish we had, had, had taken a good long look and, and started a, a, a long time ago. And, and although I am a staunch conservative, and although I am a, a, a Republican, and I'm a registered Republican because I would like to vote in primaries, I wish someone about two, three, four, five presidents ago had taken a, a look at the Middle East and started a Middle East policy. We don't have a Middle Eastern policy in America. Yeah, we do. Bomb. No, it's not even that because we don't do that right. I mean, we, we do it. <laughs> we, yeah, we do. We do it half ass and half hazardly. You think about it. You know, what did every time, uh, you know, every time Clinton got in trouble in the Oval Office because he was in there with the wrong person, he launched the cruise missiles at somebody, whether it was a, 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 a baby a formula factory or and, and Wag the dog, change the lead, change the lead. That's and right. we it's, still do it. And we don't, we haven't had one, whether it was a Republican president or a Democrat president. Had somebody 10 years ago, right after a uh, ran, it, we should have sat down and looked at a policy and said, "Folks, we need to stabilize this re region. We need to we need to go in and and stabilize it." Okay, why? 
See, I, I, that's when I say I always try oh, they, to... They control, they control a huge population. They control a population that is out to, to absolutely rule the world, period. That's their goal, rule the world. Oh, and, and we're trying to what? I mean, from, from any measurement, you have so much more overwhelming evidence that we're trying to rule the world. And I'm, and I, I and it's it it's just falls on deaf ears to these young people around the world that are instantly communicating on their computers with each other that they don't see them as as a different religion or a different uh, language even. I mean, it's all translated on Google. Tra- Heck, we have Freedoms Phoenix our website in 39 languages. So I'm going. They, I know from firsthand experience, Les. I'm telling you, they don't think this way. They're, they're, I, and, I agree. There's, there's, okay. Look at it this way. There's a billion, a billion Muslims, and 1.2 billion Chinese. Okay, there's a billion Muslims. Just bear with me for a minute. Let's say 10 percent are rad- radicals. You buy that? Wouldn't surprise me. That's why the 90 percent need to be educated on self ownership. Then they don't mm-hmm. matter. Okay. <laughs> That's a hundred million out to kill you. So, th- 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 well, quit th- giving them a reason. Okay, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. We're not giving that hundred million a reason. We're not giving. Are that. you freaking blind, Les? Oh I my mean, gosh! You we know weren't that- here two thousand years ago. We weren't here fifteen hundred years ago. We weren't here a thousand years ago, and we weren't here five hundred years ago. This, this goes back long before the United States ever started. I agree that some of the things we do might not be helping, but what we're doing doesn't have a damn thing to do with the fact that that, that religion calls for the death or conversion of all infidels. You know, now, I I'm agree trying that to... the United States needs to establish a foreign policy that can deal with this. We don't have one. Well, what might that what be? What we've done is pick, pick and choose countries to deal with. We haven't picked the right ones. We pick and choose countries, and I don't know how we pick and choose. You know, what I would advocate, and I do advocate, is that um, the first thing is whatever we're doing is not working, okay? So I'm going... Absolutely. Now, you and I agree on that. Well, what if we tried uh, the old John Lennon thing? You know, uh, give peace a chance. How about we just... Leave them alone. Let them have. Yeah, but they're doing. What do we care? You know, what I mean, why oh, are we supposed to care? What did you call me a moment ago? Naive. I think that's the word you use. Did you call me naive a moment? No, I'm saying it is naive to oh, think. Okay. I've been called a lot worse that. than naive. So, and I've got real thick skin. Things I didn't call me. you naive, but uh, oh, depends okay. how you well, think. I, Maybe I you might be. That bother me if you did, because <laughs> I, I, I was going to call you naive, because it that's just not going to work. You're looking at you're looking at all these young people, and, and let me tell you what a political realist is. I look at politics and say this is what I really really want to happen, and then I look at this side and say, but this is what I know is going to happen, or this is what I know I can make happen, because what I know I want to happen is never ever going to happen, because that's just not the way the world works. And I can't make that happen, but I know I can make this happen. But if I work really, really hard, I can maybe meet someplace here in the middle. If I can go out and touch a few people, maybe I can move what I know I can make happen a little closer to what I'd like to make happen. You know, I wish we had time to talk about your private contracting in Iraq. And, you know, from that perspective, that you meet the people that you're there to serve the 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 country the the indigenous people that are there and kind of get a response on how they perceive this because I'm we are in a new world that is ordered by a spontaneous chaos order that's coming together of uh, billions of individual minds that for the first time in human history not spontaneous this is organized this is organized and i'm telling you what's going on in the middle east today is planned orchestrated 
organized. That is destined to fail because it's up against individual billions of minds that are just communicating nope. instantaneously my words, with it each other. Calendar, it's going to succeed. In the end, freedom always wins. It just gets really messy first. We got the mess to go through yet, and I think we're our actions in dealing with this militarily is just make painting a big giant bullseye on our chest, and it doesn't have to be that way. Well, you're right about that. Les Rayburn, lesrayburn.com. Thanks for coming on and spending time with me. I, I really wanted to get uh, perspective in this hour from someone from your perspective so that we can understand the mind's that maybe some of us disagree with. Thank you very much. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured.